Greetings and welcome to episode 156 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod USA campaign. And this friends have it last time. It's been quite a while since we've been here. Quite a while since we've been to the USA campaign. And we have been gathering a pace. Events really have been moving very, very quickly here, particularly on the Russian front. Now, of course, we are moving a huge amount of our military assets to the west as well, where we've got Spain gathering its own forces there. It's going to be a titanic clash, but we've also got, of course, our other enemies. We have plenty of enemies here. They've dared to raid us here in the Baltic, right outside our centre of power here in Europe. I don't think so, my friends. As you can see, we are quickly going to crush this minuscule fleet here, because they're currently trading our trade line. Not acceptable. They've also, as you can see, have brought this port here to a standstill. Not going to happen, my friends. Not going to happen at all. What do we get here? What's Fifth rate? No. Fourth rate? No, I don't think so. I think we'll take the money, sir. Thank you. And the bulls, of course, Ready have been an absolute menace. Mm, a thorn in our side. But I think what have they brought here? A similar. Fleet ready. Here. Aye, aye, sir. Got Fleet to with them. ready. They will be moving anyway. We've got that now aye, sealed aye, off. <coughs> We've also brought ready. this fleet in here to deal with the remnants. <coughs> let them see. Let them know what they're looking at. We rule the waves. None lost at all. Completely eliminated. That's a wonder. Now we can put them Take in the port. We've got a port. We've got another fleet here. We've got plenty of ports we can put them in. What have we got here indeed? Bring them, look at that. We've got 87,000 in the bank. My goodness me. That is extraordinary. We'll pull this fleet yes, out of here. Them. Move one of our main battle fleets in here for repair and replenishment. Ready the crew and can... Take ready. Just deserts here. As you can see, we have complete. Now we now we have regained control of the Baltic. We have to. What we did, we moved our main Baltic sort of fleet away. So we have to put. I think put a fleet here, so we don't have this again harassing our trade lines. Not acceptable in any circumstances, my friends. Still got a hundred thousand coming in per to, per year. That is extraordinary. As you can see, we are now starting to push against the remnants here of this Russian force that was defending Vilnius here. Vilnius was a massive battle, it really, really was. They sort of pulled away from Vilnius, we moved in and then they came back into Vilnius as well. Got them this force here. Still moving in, they're still loitering here, but Sir. we can we'll probably deal with that Sir. here with this army of General Gallimore. We shall move in. We're still trying to replenish and repair some of the forces here, particularly John Wax's force here, which for some reason... <coughs> I just need this uh, this regiment here, and we're at full strength. Corland has, for the meantime, kept out of the fight. They are very powerful forces here, I must confess. Are some very powerful armies. But as you can see, we're starting now Sir. to really push against the Russians here. We've we've sort of moved both sort of east westwards, as it were, and we sort of moved around eastwards as well here. So we're sort of wrapping around this large forest here, which can't go through the forest. But as you can see, we're looming large as this massive fight to St. Petersburg. It's going to be titanic. We've also got an army group here stationed just outside the F Karelia Fort here, ready to move in. So we're effectively surrounding St. Petersburg, so nothing escapes that trap. We're also moving these forces in to try and servant. put the remnants of these forces. The Maybe just push them back even. We're not, we don't really want to engage them just yet, unless they move against these forces here. We might just corral them back into Moscow proper. But as you can see, Russians are starting to pull in a number of forces here, including, if I'm not mistaken, two Tsar cannons here. 64 pounders, that's extraordinary. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, are they bringing other forces up? They are indeed from here, from the Crimea, moving ever so westward here and northward. We've also still got to establish a very, very strong defensive line here in Serbia. We have pulled forces away from here, though. Is being, this is being repaired. It is. As you can see, there was a quite a fight here this army was involved in. It really was an extraordinary fight. And we've, we're just keeping an army or so here. We do have to retrofit that. I've still got 12 pounds, which is not acceptable under any circumstances. But this force here, General Catton, is here to prepare us against any Venetian move against us here as well. But 
Why are these all in tatters, these Spanish forces here? They are very, very powerful indeed. And I... <clears throat> George, George's... Or Genoa, I beg your pardon, Genoa, not Georgia, Genoa. They're hostile to minus 183. That's going to be quite an explosive event. If these are they are the trade partners I thought are the protected of Naples, that's why. We've got quite the number of forces here. I wonder why the Spanish are in such tatters here, these fast forces, because these are very, very powerful forces indeed. Look at that. And yet they're not fully replenished, but however, on the border here, they have full strength, apart from some of these which are looking... Uh, is the Spanish economy beginning to rock slightly here? But my goodness, I mean, they've got some very powerful force, but then, but then again, so have we. We've also established at the Council's behest a series of fortifications along the border here with Spain. We've got a, a number of forces also sort of moving with intent to move and reinforce some of these armies here, but ready and awaiting got another army being put ready. here and the cannon here. Forward. March. More cannons here. We're trying to put together as many um, armies as possible. We've got Breslau here. We could probably pull this army away here and build and put it into a f into a full army. We don't really need this army here. I think we'll pull it more towards the eastern front. Onward. And also ready. likewise wait this army here as a full jump. Full strength, we'll pull that further eastwards as well. Got, still got to keep an eye on France. How is France looking at us at the moment? Oh, minus 133. My goodness me, that is. They've changed a lot. Ah, they're allies of Prussia. So, in fact, th th that they've gone the complete reverse. At one time, they were at war with Prussia. Now they're allies of Prussia, and that's why they don't like us very much. We've got to be careful what's going on here. Because we could stir a hornet's nest here, hornet's nest here. Because even here, they've still got some very strong armies here. Indeed, we mustn't become complacent. We might have to fortify this front here, the Minsk front. We might just pull Sir. this army once it's completely replenished Orders. along here, guarding the road here to, from Lithuania into Minsk, and maybe yes. put this army at full strength as well and pull this army Sir. definitely into this region here. Sorry, sir. And also, once this one is replenished, that will also be moved in to guard this border. We're starting to try and fill this bridgehead here we've established here. Fill it with many forces as possible, and also, either, if they move against us, then we'll have no choice but to fight. But if we can push them back into Moscow, and sort of form a solid line here, maybe of an army group, and then siphon the rest of the armies off into this battle that's going to be coming here, it's going to be a monstrous fight. Plus one to morale, excellent. Plus one to morale as well. Is that, ah, here. Better. Now, further eastwards, we have, as you can see here, got this massive force assembled to move against the Persians. Our main goal here is to take, retake Baghdad, which we lost, one of the few cities we've lost recently. Tbilisi is also going to be under siege quite quickly, I think. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it is surrounded. However, the army here is ready to fight. We're also putting some settlement fortifications up. That should help, but it's going to take us a long while for that to happen. We could upgrade the steam engine factory here, but I'm not sure that would do us any good. The chances are they're going to raid that anyway. Sir. We're also putting the army staff college into place here, but that's not going to give us anything we can use here. For some reason we just simply can't recruit any line infantry at all from Ankara or the Middle East. It's real, uh, the Middle East regions at all is it's bewildering. All we can get is African native infantry. Excellent troops but not really the calibre that we need at the moment. So we're having to move forces in from afar and that is taking a while as you can imagine. And we do have the Gibraltar Straits firmly under control, Ready for action. including this force here, which somehow Naples managed to get a fleet away and past us there, but 
we'll let that happen again. What have we got here? Italian states. We're at peace with Italian states, so that's absolutely fine. Savoy here. And look around Paris here, look at this. But why are, they, why are we getting these these tattered flags here from the Sp Spanish? That is bewildering to say the least. My eyes are yours. I'm just trying to keep an eye on what's going on here with the Spanish. My cloak. Just watching out for any movement here because this battle here is going to be an absolute tight of a fight. This fight is probably going to be the next one we're going to have here in St. Petersburg. But also, we're going to move down here, and, ready and awaiting one. At this the force ready. is not ready to move yet, Sir. but we are going to move against the Persians. Orders. We'll probably mop up anything along this main the road here in Syria, and then attack, then probably move into Esfahan as well with this force. This force, at the council's behest again, was you, we are going to also move against ready and the port orders. here, which is now surrounded, which I think we just Sir. might take now, to be honest with you. Sir, orders. Look at the guns here we have, my goodness me. Make ready. That's a good, oh, good grief, that's a good compliment here. This is, I think we use this army here. Your humble servant, sir. Over here, I think we'll... Sir. Ready and awaiting yes. orders. We'll, we'll use this army sir. now. I think we'll make the... We'll attack you, but they, they do have a huge amount of troops. I mean, that's extraordinary. It's going to be quite the tussle. They've got a lot of guns as well, 24 pounders. Lancers. Kubashi, Kuzilbashi, Musketeers. So I think we'll we'll free the port here of Beirut. We've actually moved in here to make sure they can't move any more ships in. So we'll put them grading that just yet because it's not going to really do anything for us in terms of trade. We're going to increase our naval capacity here in the Mediterranean along Anatolia. Just increasing our strength all the time, but I think we'll take this fight here and clear the port. So that way then we can free these forces up to move down, perhaps with the Syrian desert. Ready for battle. I think we'll engage them next turn here. Right, let's end the turn here, let's see what comes our way, because we've got a we've got a huge amount of work to do, particularly against the Russians as well. Now Britain really hasn't shown any interest in any wars at all, which is fine, that's absolutely fine. France, I wouldn't be surprised if France had to declare war upon us, perhaps in the not dist distant future. I, wait a minute. Prussia wants Poland for indefinite military access. I don't think so, sir. Not a chance. I'm looking out power. Look at the wealth. They don't have any trade partners, which is extraordinary. They're hostile towards us. They want Poland. I don't think so. It looks like they might move against Poland now. Naples and Sicily. Let's see what they come up with. One day we shall pay them back for what they've done there, Naples and Sicily. Ottoman Empire, which is just... Oof. Which is huge at the moment. Incredibly powerful. Russia now. Russia's moving out forces away from St. Petersburg. Potentially another ruse. If they drain St. Petersburg of forces, we'll be all over that city. So the Persians are reinforcing. Backed out here, my goodness me. Oh no, they're moving out. Oh. Looks like trying to escape this trap. Here we go. What will Spain do here? My goodness me, they got a lot of forces, Spain. Holland. For, for a, a small nation, Holland is incredibly strong. Because they've kept themselves at wars, that's why. Aha! Okay, that's absolutely fine, but this port is still going to be crushed. One is two. Brilliant. Oh, bad, bad. 
expectations, that's fine. Make ready. Start moving these towards the Spanish front. Immediately. Rose, halt. At the ready. Ready for order. Make ready. Troops. Ready and awaiting order. What do we need here? We need more cavalry. <coughs> more cuirassier. We've got Sir. three cannon. I think we'll have some foot, art foot artillery as well. And also some more infantry. Ready for replenished and repaired. So we're going to move these gentlemen to the border here with Poland just on the this side of the river here. Let them stab themselves. Citizens, fight! At the ready. And I think we'll also keep this this force here as well, just on guarding this particular and flank here as well. Forward. Maneuvers complete. Guarding Warsaw because if they wanted Poland from us, that means because we didn't give it to them, they might come for us here. And yes, sir. Got the Russians here who are just loitering. Also, might move against them very soon. Get rid of more power lands here. So we can, so we can we move them so we can move these gentlemen here to defend Vilnius, and also Ready? we can probably move Waiting these. Look at that cavalry here. We'll keep the cavalry there. Just so what yes, we do, we move this gentleman here, this side, March. to the south here of Vilnius, and also this force Ready will remove for. this. The rem remnants of the Russians and move to protect Vilnius as well from any German attacks. They haven't moved at all. But they've moved these troops to around this port here of Staraya Ladoga. We could probably move against St. Petersburg, to be honest with you. But that is going to be a fight for another day. I think what we're we'll doing is we're just trying to goad them into action here. Do we have to? Humble, we should have the Marine Corps Ready here somewhere. Sir. There it is. The General Sam North. What we'll do, we'll just move up here into St. Petersburg. Can we move Make them into... Ready. Make Mark. ready. Ready and Look at these forces order. we've got here. They're extraordinarily the strong. By the left. Yes, sir. March. Onward. Yes. See, all these armies just complementing each other here. Just Forward. Mark, sir. able to defend one another. Come to each other's aid. Look at that. Forward. I think we'll just move into here, into Narva. Your humble servant. Sir. Yes, sir. Make ready. By the left. March. They know what's coming. Yes. We've also got these gentlemen here. Ready I think we'll just forward. put these gentlemen here. Forward. Sir. And here. Your orders? Keep things under firm lock and key here. Officer on deck. Aye, sir. Right, these gentlemen are ready set to go. Sail. I think we'll set them here to guard the entrance. That's excellent. God, look at that. We've taken Persia's money away from them. Thank you very much. And Spain as well. I think we move this, this fleet out to replenish and repair. That's land, sir. And still ship shape. Run up, gun. Them in to check here. Excellent. Now we're starting to put ourselves into a position here where we can. Sir. Your humble sir. Just kept, we're just keeping these forces here to guard against the Venetian push. We're at war with them. Sir. Sir. We've got a lot of cavalry here, which we probably... Why have we got cavalry moving up the front here? Ah, to re... Ah, of course. Sir. Your orders? Ready and waiting for. We shall disband these units. They've done themselves proud, but we don't... I'd rather have cuirassiers in here, to be honest. We've got to have... Humble servant. Forward! March! Make ready. 
How our armies have grown so quickly and moved so fast. We actually have paced ourselves yes. in terms of having our our military at peak efficiency, as you can see here. We don't need these cavalry here. They fought well and they've done well for us, but now they can rest easy. Ready for orders. Waiting further orders. That's more like it. Yes. Immediately. It's a cavalry, hev cavalry, heavy, heavy force, but it still will serve its purpose here, again, especially against the Spanish. My goodness me, that's a very strong army they've got there. Right, I think we'll clear this port of the Persians and start moving against Persia. We mustn't forget the Middle East at all. That would, that would be our humble service. Fight here, my friends. We've got more than mine. They've got several 4,471. We are packing quite a punch here. Look at this cannon. Imagine they've got their own cannons here. Plenty of cavalry as well. Lots and lots of infantry, but let's take the fight. We've got lots of, we've got plenty of backup as well. I think we're bringing these gentlemen in first before. Do we have cavalry? No, I think a cavalry ready force is much more apt. And let's just move. Let's get the absolutely perfect there. This should be enough, however. Never underestimate your enemy, my friends. That will spell your doom. Let's clear the port here. And let's see if we can, at the very least, start moving additional forces against Persia. And maybe going across the Syrian desert to cut off the reinforcements that are heading our way in the Middle East. And the, then I think we might move eventually against St. Petersburg. So bring it under siege. But we've got to be careful we don't get attacked in the flank as well by those forces. We can remove this Persian force. We can then move. We have committed an extraordinary amount of uh, military might to taking the Persians. We've actually diverted quite a lot of our military from the west and diverted it into the Middle East. So, as you can imagine, we need to bring this Persian campaign under control quickly so we can move them back um, to the west, particularly the Russian front, which we did have to drain a number of armies of to move against the Persians. That's not, that's not to underestimate the Persians, but. To be honest with you, it is a diversion from our west and eastern campaigns here. We'll put these two regiments of Crassiers on the left here. Looking to try and flank the Persians if possible. And also we'll do the same here with these two Crassiers. We'll put them on the right. Again, trying to flank our enemies here. We've got so much artillery, it's extraordinary. Look at that. Let's just pull these regiments back in here. And let's clear a path here for our artillery. Bring the general. And I think we'll set it here because at the moment we are cutting the road here which is always good to see but I think we'll just put them centre here, dead centre. Now I know we could probably put them in the... actually we might put these in the line and have howitzers behind us. I think that'd be far more efficient than the council has in the, in the past pushed for that particular sequence of events to happen. Which I just put this general back here. We don't want the general to be caught up in any 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 enemy fire, as you can see here. Look at that, and they're hidden as well, which is even better. Now, what we'll do, we'll establish a, f a defensive line. We'll, we'll include the regiment of 24 pounders in that line. What do we have here? I think we have the 119th. As you can tell, this, this must be an, an army that does have a number of n numbered regiments, which is very unusual to find now. These regiments, because now we've got so many regiments and numbers, we don't have any more numbered regiments. We we'll have the 119th here, and on the side of the flank of that, we'll have the 11th regiment of 24 pound foot. Please, thank you. <clears throat> oh, look at that. The long grass does its job here. What a wonder. I think we'll put the twenty another no, twenty-four, the twelfth here. Perfect. And now we'll put the we need to bring these gentlemen back here a little bit. 
We don't want them firing upon each other. That would not be good. Now, 36th will be moving along the right here. Look at that undulation here. The topography of the battlefield is undulating, to say the least. Let's have this regiment here on the left, just moving close enough into the artillery here. move against the Persians, maybe attack a flank with some infantry. Gentlemen, please. Thank you. This regiment here on the right. Again, stretching as far out as we possibly can, but also perhaps trying to keep some of our forces back so we can use them to attack as well. We've got three regiments left here for this regiment here. I think in that case we'll put them here, we'll put this regiment over here, we shall fit them into here. We shall close that gap here. Perfect, look at that. So now we've got some proper supporting fire. I think we'll put one more regiment here on the left, just to make sure we've got every angle covered here, because we're up against a, a formidable Persian force. I think we might send each of this, these regiments out with this cavalry here. Again, another strike force on the flanks, which I have found this pay off considerably in the past, but look at the weather here. It's absolutely bucketing down. Right, let's begin. We're going to take the fight to them. Bring them under control at the moment. Be easy to control us to control here. The general here, which will push back just a smidge in here. Let's begin. Look at that, they've already got the lancers in here. Canister kind of shot. If they come in too close, we're gonna have to have it up to the sir. Be 
really bad enough. You can overpower. Look at that. It's a shame. Flank is going to suffer pretty badly here. Got to pull out here. Oh, look at this long hole line here. Coming in. This man kept my goodness me just about heated up here. Just to clear the artillery. Look at that, the cool marsh is here. Can we go? Oh, look at that on there as well. Let's get straight on the wall. My goodness, we did absolutely. Rumors ripping us to shreds there. Oh, that's a heck of a barrage. Oh, 
Over in the positions, let's over in the positions, lads. We've got them. Come on, get in this crew bashing. Oh, they did absolutely obliterated here with cavities and a wonderful job. Come on, don't, don't you wait for lads. Gone, they're broken. So, from Shattered, please, gentlemen, let's remove them from the port. We've done. Move ourselves up to here now. That's how we're going to flank these here. Come on, gentlemen, move. Don't go just past them. Don't go just past them here. Move it, gentlemen. Shattered under the power of the US. Military might, sir. Look at that. We've held this line beautifully. Some of them have just been pushed back and just a smidgen here. But my goodness me, what a fight that was. They really pushed our lines hard here, particularly along around here. Meet us here. Move. They're repositioning along the line here. Got these gentlemen moving up pretty fast here. But... Well, let's just organise. Let's get into them, lads. If we don't have a defensive line yet, let's get in there. Don't let them assemble, lads. Don't let them assemble. Disorganized. Now they're entirely disorganized. Follow the orders, sir. Follow the orders. It really, really is. We're not, we lost one. That was one That's quite a bit, though. It's considerable, considering. Well, what a fight! That look at the Crassiers. They did a wonderful job. That those three Crassiers that flanked them. That was extraordinary. Look at the look at the 24 pounder. 130, 130 each. Year, 105. All in triple figures. That's excellent to see. It really is. Look at the experience gained. Wonderful. Forward. On your way, sir. On Mark. your way. Look at that. Completely eliminated. Bring this army up to full strength. Make ready. When were they dragged into that fight? Uh, ah, brilliant. Lithuania, of course, that's been done. Of course. Now, oh, a bad plant. 
plantation. I think we might just take the opportunity. Ready for I think we'll just do one more turn. I think we might take the opportunity to move in against St. Petersburg. We've got to watch out we're not flanked here by these gentlemen. Yes, so sir. I think for, to that end, I think we'll move two yes, additional sir. forces into, into position. Your humble servant. At the ready. Yes, sir. Not these, because look, that's not really up to full strength there at all, is it? Let's be ready honest. And waiting order. This force is here. We'll just pull these gentlemen into this the fight here. March. Then we'll move these in as well. We're going to try and take St. Peter's, and we can also move these down in as well to protect ourselves. We'll end the turn. I feel the last thing, unless something happens drastically, we're going to move in against St. Petersburg. What a boon I'll be. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Why is France moving on to our territory here? And why is why are the Germans suddenly building up massive forces here? Something's brewing here, my friend. Something is brewing. Naples. Ah, looks like they want to come out here, so it looks like they might have quite a bit here for us, but even if this fleet does get hit hard, we can, of course. Ah, got defeated, sir, but it's okay. Ready and waiting. We can and will move against them. We'll bring in the, the, the fleet we've just replenished and repaired. That'll deal with them. Russia, what will Russia do here? I don't understand why they're moving to Strylagola here. Adoga here, that really is strange. They're reinforcing their front, not moving away from it. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Spain is gathering even more forces here. I'd say that Amsterdam is probably one of the most heavy defended capitals in the world. I kid you not. give you 20,000 gold for a peace treaty? I don't think so, sir. Vast influx here of troops here. What have we got? Here? Ready got for order. At the ready. Perfect. Yes. So I'll build that force up here. Make ready. Ready and awaiting order. Your humble servant. Any armies that are lacking any of the essentials here? Yes, we've got these here, which I think will be this army order. here. More orders. It's a joy to see. Look at that. The, uh, the border here was... Look at the nice size of the Spanish forces. It's extraordinary. Unseen, unheard. Watching. We've got nothing else. There's no depth to them. Mind you, neither do we really, but we do have these forces here at least. There's not much... I mean, look how heavy defender the Netherlands is. It's massive. And, if I'm not mistaken, they've replenished everything apart from this force here, which is probably one of their, uh, one of their toughest armies. But everything else has been started to bring up to some kind of strength here. Ooh. That doesn't seem very... Oh, that's quite a lot coming in there from Spain. They also control the Gibraltar Straits here as well. And again, they've got... My goodness me, look how much they've got in Portugal. They are a really a very, very strong empire. And it's my fault for allowing them to get that large. Right, I think we're going to move against... The Russians here. Look at look at the look at the look what we've carved out here. Look we've carved we've pushed hard here against the, the Russians. Moved right in. The last and the last sort of bastions of Kiev and Moscow. Now Kiev we can't go through because it's protected by Belarus here and also by Galicia. 
with the French. But why have we got France here? Sir. By the left, march! What do we need here? We've got to, we've got to make more of an army of this. We shall use these gentlemen here to do so. And ready and awaiting order. Some additional line infantry. Excellent. Now I think we're in a good shape here to move against Moscow. We'll leave these gentlemen here. These strike against us. We can push down against. But I, I beg your pardon, St. Petersburg. It is not defended very well at all. Sir. We're going to use the army, group, the the Marine Corps again, to take the fight to our enemy. So let's move in here. The calls of battle. Answer now, of course, is going to be refused as we expect it. We continue siege. siege. Works. Now we start moving in the rest of our Sir. forces. Look at that. Forward, march. At the protect ready. this flank here. Men, forward. Sir. Oh, look at that. That's Your extraordinary. Orders. Your orders. Your at the ready. Make ready. General Noah Cromer moving into here. Make ready, march. At the ready. And here as well. Just Forward. protecting our flanks. March. Yes, sir. Another army here as well, in behind. Troops. And we've got these forces here as well. We're not going to take any chances Forward. at all. We're going to overwhelm them here. Ready for Make ready. March. Perfect. Look at that. And we've also got this army group here. So if these forces move away, try and tax on our front flank, we'll push these in as well. Wow, what a fight that's going to be there. We've also got an army group here ready to take on the remnants of these Russian forces. We must deal with this Russian force here. Which I think we should also do as well here. Let's push them away. And we can also then solidify the border here in Vilnius. Let's move in here. And that's the fight we're going to take. Actually, we probably don't need to take this fight. I think we can probably auto. We are mighty yes, and it's unbound. It's more like it. Immediately. Them. Plus one to morale. Excellent. We've all been built here and we've got to make sure we've got our economy absolutely at maximum capacity here. Excellent to see. If we can take St. Petersburg, we'd have effectively cleared the north. Of course we've got Archangel here. But Moscow would be our next target because we could then just move into Moscow. We might even wrap around, destroy this pocket here of Russian forces, eliminate the remnants here, nesting them against us, and then we'll move against Moscow. And that, my friends, will probably spell the end of the Russians, including Minsk, which will be their last bastion, and the Crimea, but we can deal with that. We've also moved against the Persians now. We've got the Persians moving in here with all due haste. Look at that, they're sending everything they've got along here. We'll be prepared for it. Once we've defeated the Persians here, we'll move against Baghdad, recapture it. This force here is holding on two more years before that reinforcement is constructed. I think, my friends, we're going to end this episode here. And as always, the Council's advice will be absolutely vital because we really have absolutely carved out. If we can deal with Russia, we can then pull the majority of these forces out of the Eastern Front and move them towards what is going to be the titanic clash of the campaign and that's going to be against Spain and that is going to be a fight for the ages because what we might have to do is clear per Venice to move against this redoubt here this really heavily defended Milan garrison which is just packed to the rafters with Spanish troops so again we've got a lot to do here a huge amount to do we might even have to move against we will have to move against Germany as well and uh, ultimately and finally clear and bring all the Balkans under, under US control. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, please keep your comments com coming down below. Your, your support has been absolutely phenomenal. It really has. It does mean a lot, my friends. Whatever you're doing, please be safe, especially in the world we're living in now. Please be safe, my friends. I'll just clear this here now. All the forts have also been built along the along here. We've have we upgraded everything here. We've almost upgraded the artillery fort, as you can see. We won't make them into star forts just yet. 
Mythical Artery. I'll make this one an Artery Fort as well here. We can't do one here. We've also got the Glitch in this crossing. We can't bring this crossing in our control. We have got this one in our control here. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you, for, and thank you always for all your wonderful support, particularly in the Saxony campaign as well. That's, the support of that has been phenomenal. It really, really has. Again, please bring your tactics and your strategies to this campaign as well. I can see this campaign is starting to sort of gather a head of steam, as it were. Now we're, we're, we're crushing what was once an incredibly powerful enemy, and they still are. They still are the Russians, but as you can see, they're starting to wane. Their power is starting to wane now. It's going to be between Germany, but Spain is our next major target, and looks like. The phony war will eventually come to an end. They'll either attack us or we will have to move against them. And my goodness me, it's going to be a fight, particularly for the Netherlands. That's going to be a brutal fight. But my friends, until next time, bye for now.